Hi, this is Bipolar Scrapbooking. Um, I know that in one of my videos I had explained to you how I actually like to store my clear stamps. Okay, and um, I'm still using the same method, but I don't think I went into it in details. Okay, um, the reason why they're black on here is because I put stays on on the other side so that when I flip it over okay I can see what there is and I basically just have one sheet of paper okay just have a sheet of paper in my whole book book and then when I really want to see what what it says this, this lighting is like I'm really sorry if there's like a really bad glare but uh, I'm trying to learn how to take a better videos so if anybody has uh, a real uh, something just explain to me how I need to put my lighting because it's driving me nuts okay and this is what I do okay and I'm going to show you an example all right I don't know if I showed you last time I don't know where to put this lighting honestly so I'm just going to put it there guys sorry for bothering you okay the stays on we all know or those who don't this is the best permanent ink there is uh, other than moments yeah there's, there's a whole bunch of other ones but for me it is the best one there is <laughs> so as you can see this is a clear one okay so basically I just do this to it I'll rub it in oh, my stays on it's like it needs more ink okay so now I have it on there, all right? Now, yes, if I put my finger on it, it does come out. Now, that's on this finger, okay? Now, I'm going to set it a little bit. I'm going to make sure this dries up. That's all it needs. It doesn't need a lot. Now, remember this finger. Now, I'm going to use my whole hand, and it doesn't come off, okay? So if I go like that, it doesn't come off. Now, you could flip it over. If you flip it over and press on it, I don't believe it shows up. And it doesn't. Okay? It doesn't show up at all. Okay? So, just to let you know, this is why. This is why. Now, I put it on this one. This one's a different one. Okay? This is why. Uh, this is from the other one. It doesn't come off. This is why I do it like this, so that I can see what I have on the other side. Um, if I want to look at something else, I will flip it over. And actually, it should be on the other side. Sorry, guys, I don't mean to get you nauseous. But I, I have a tripod. It is very tiny, so I can't get a real good...
and that's with the Inca gold. Now, oh geez, I didn't take it out, did I? All right, sorry if I'm going to move here, but I just want to show you something else I use. This is great. You can mix this with any, any color. Watercolor, and it gives it such a beautiful pearl color. Uh, it, it's so, so bright. It gives everything a bling bling effect. I love, love, love. Um, what else was I gonna talk to you, to you about? I throw, oh yeah, if you wanna know about the clouds. See, I get distracted so quickly. I uh, use this, it's called the snow marker paper and fabric embellisher. Uh, basically, uh, what you do is, this is how it looks. It's like one of those metallic rolls that you press down, you make sure you get the ink down, and, and you basically draw a nice thick white um, strip, and then you blow dry it, you, you heat dry it, and it starts to puff up. Okay, I'm in my eight minute here. And let me show you, give you a brief look at what I'm trying to finish here. Um, I recycled my son's jeans. This is one of the belt holders, whatever you call them. These are all my fibers on the side. I closed it. I made the, the sides instead of hooks. I put the jeans to hold it. Um, what I used, I'm doing it one-handed because I have this camera my husband bought me, and it is superb. You know what, I'm not going to talk to you about this right now, okay? I'll show you in another one. But I have to explain to you about this camera, and I'm going into my, I may have to do this in two parts. But this is called a Canon PowerShot Elf, and it's five, five